In this video we're going to look at how you can quickly test an ignition misfire for coil on plug ignition coils using your oscilloscope and a coin. Once set up it literally takes seconds to check all cylinders. And what we'll also do is put a fault on the coil and see if we can diagnose it. So if you want to see more content about automotive diagnostics please make sure you hit the subscribe button and touch the bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Go and check out the channel for more videos like this. So for coil on plug ignition coils there's a really quick way to work out whether it's actually operating as it should be. There's a really cool test I found just when I started working at the Volkswagen Group Academy as a technical trainer. One of the guys there, I think it was Paul Lauf, showed me and I was really quite impressed with it. I'd never seen it before. So we're going to have a look today. So we're going to show you everything you need to do the test, how to set it up on the oscilloscope and we'll also put some faults on to see if it's actually any good at identifying issues. So make sure you stick around to the end. So all I'll be using is the PicoScope 2204A and I'm actually going to be using the lead that it comes with. Um, they're not the best for most applications in the automotive world um, but for this it's actually quite good. It's quite a short lead and we actually only need the one probe for this. So if you were using your traditional cables you can get rid of the ground. You don't need to connect it up, only use the red lead. So this is actually an amazing little scope. The link is in the description below, really cheap. Get it for just over £100. That scope doesn't come with the automotive cables, however you can pick them up as well. This is a Hantec one, it was only £10, a really good deal. Got the banana connectors on the end so you can get your pins and your crocodile clips on there. I will also be using this 20 to 1 attenuator. It's also a little Hantec model. Again, it's really cheap, it's only £10. We'll be using this to do a comparison test to work out what's going on. Okay, to set up this test scent, you just need your scope connected. And I'm using the lead that actually came with this scope. It's um, You can still do the test with your normal automotive cables, but you only need the red lead. Do not connect the black lead to an earth. You get exactly the same results. Instead of using this three meter cable, I can just use this nice short lead without the ground. You're also gonna need a coin. So set up for the scope, we're gonna go for one millisecond per division and 20 volts. We're going to set the trigger to auto and pull it just to about four volts above zero. So we're on this 2018 Fiesta, it's the new one with this three cylinder non turbo petrol engine beast. So, what you're going to do is put the coin on the coil and then hold your scope lead or just your red lead on top of the coil. So let's have a look what we've got then. Okay, so we can see there we've got a bit of a signal. We can see that without, without the coin, We do get something, put it onto auto, well this thing feels like it's misfiring anyway, I don't think it is. Put it onto auto, you can pick up a signal on a lower voltage scale but it's not very strong. So if you put the coin on there, it basically fo focuses the electromagnetic pulses onto the coin, so we'll leave it. 20 volts. We go across there, same there, and the same there. So this is a really good example of when you need to set a trigger up. Um, if we have a look at what it looks like when we don't set the trigger, it will give you a really good understanding of what the trigger does. So we're connected up there, and you can see that every now and then 
we get a pattern flash on the screen. So what we're going to do is go to the trigger, select auto, and there you can see it's already picked it up. If we move that up a bit, there we are, we trigger to that point and it's held there. So let's uh, get the signal of the coil activation and try and work out what's actually happening on the waveform. What we'll do is we'll get the primary activation signal for the coil and overlay it with that test we just did. So we'll connect up channel B with the attenuator. This is just the Handtech hand 20 to 1 attenuator. And we need this because the scope only takes 20 volts input. The spike we're going to read off this signal is going to go over 20 volts. So we're just putting this on to make sure that we capture the whole waveform on the screen. We'll connect the ground to this lifting eye here. And we'll go into the back of the coil and see what we've got. Okay, so if we go on there now, we can actually see the two patterns actually look very similar. Very similar indeed. So what we can actually see there is the primary coil being activated and then the secondary coil firing the spark plug. However, as you can see, it takes two seconds to quickly check all of them with one. So let's have a look what it looks like if we put a fault on. So all I'm gonna do is lift the coil off the plug so we don't get a proper spark. Could simulate a secondary winding failure or a spark plug failure. So here we go, I'm actually surprised it's running, this little three cylinder. Let's go on the plug there, see what we've got. Ah, as you can see there, it's very different to the rest of them. There we go, number two. Number three, still working okay. At number one, completely different. So we can see there that it's trying to activate it, but we're not getting the full build up and collapse of the coils. So they look completely different. So let's have a look what happens if we put a fault on the cylinder. Let's take the fuel away and see what happens. We're just gonna disconnect the injector. Have a look on there. Do you see any difference? Hard to tell, but there is definitely a bit of a distant difference on the second part of the pattern there. And I think that's what this test is for, really. You've just got to compare the cylinders. So if you suspect you've got a fault, check them all. And if there's a difference, it'll probably give you a good place to start looking. I suspect the change in that second part of the pattern is down to the fact that there's no combustion taking place in that cylinder. So actually the conductive properties of the mixture between the plug, plug gap are different. So it's behaving differently. I couldn't tell you the absolute physics on it, but it makes sense. If you've ever heard of ionic knock control, some of the Japanese cars use it, E92 M3s use it, and um, that actually looks at the composition of the mixture between the plug gap after it fires to determine whether it's got an ignition knock or a misfire. Clever stuff. So in summary, it's really quite a good test to just quickly check what each ignition coil is doing. We also found it might indicate an issue with an ignition coil. Also, when we remove the fuel from the cylinder, we could see that the second half of that pattern did change compared to the rest of them, which might give you enough evidence to start diagnosing that cylinder. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with my latest uploads.